Hi there, churchmilton.tv supporters. I'm Michael Voris. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. If you or someone you know is looking to sell or buy a home or a commercial property anywhere in the world, there's an amazing organization called Real Estate for Life that you should definitely check out. Real Estate for Life generously donates an average of $1,000 to churchmilitant.tv every time a home sale closes. It's a great way to support us here at CMTV. And don't forget, this comes at absolutely no cost to you. So please call or email Real Estate for Life today. All the information you need is in the description box. Michael Voris along with Rebecca Hasenauer for churchmilitant.tv. God love you. Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. When it comes to Judgment Day, both personal judgment and the general judgment at the end of the world, you probably won't want to be standing in the shoes of many of the members of the hierarchy. Our blessed Lord's maxim, to whom much has been given, much will be demanded, should be ringing in their ears as a siren call. For nearly the past 50 years, two generations of bishops have sat idly by while the faith has been obliterated. The first generation of them started the ball rolling, and the current generation lets it keep rolling. We've just produced our latest episode of Dispatch, this one focusing on the unmitigated continuing disaster that Catholic education, if the word education can even be used without giving offense, has become. We've attached a link on this page for you to click on and watch it. For example, this weekend in Los Angeles, the annual Archdiocese of LA Religious Education Congress, the REC, and that's an appropriate name for it, the REC, is being held for thousands of teachers and religious ed instructors. Now, it was started by Cardinal Roger Mahoney during his heyday in LA. You know him, he's the Cardinal who had to oversee the payout of more than $600 million for all the homosexual boy raping priests running around under his watch. He's also the same Cardinals that, if that official records show tried to cover up as much of this as he possibly could. And for those of you who have longer memories, he is the cardinal that Mother Angelica went toe-to-toe -to -toe with and defied because of a weird way this prince of the church talked about the real presence of our blessed Lord in the Eucharist. In short, his words were so ambiguous and could be read in so many different ways that good people, good faithful Catholics, were left wondering if he really believed what the church taught. Eventually, Cardinal Mahoney, after losing a number of early battles, got his way and EWTM was turned over to a lay board of trustees after Mother had to resign. She no longer has anything to do with EWTN and hasn't for years. Many people recognize that EWTN has never been the same since Mother had to quit. So Cardinal Mahoney's fame extends not just to duking it out with Mother Angelica, and making the largest single homosexual priest pay out in history, not to mention the horrible looking cathedral that he spent tens of millions of dollars to build, but also his infamous religious education congress, his REC, which is featured in this dispatch episode. Again, we have attached a link here on this page. What goes on at this conference is beyond offensive and scandalous. It's downright evil. Now, to be sure, not every speaker fits that bill, of course not, but enough do. And here's the larger point. Why should there be any conference or talk or wor workshop by anyone who denies Catholic teaching or even calls it into question? There are speakers at this year's conference right now, this weekend, who openly support sodomy and gay marriage think there should be women priests, and are either members of or supportive of numerous theological lefty Catholic groups. It is an abomination that these kinds of events are allowed to fly under the name Catholic with the sponsorship, promotion, and blessing of anyone in the church at all, much less prelates. Now to give you a bit of the history of this Congress, one speaker, a priest, Father Richard Sparks, at a past event actually stood in front of the crowd at the wreck and using some of the most vile and blasphemous, not to mention downright crude and guttural language, said the most lurid and offensive things about the intimate life of our Blessed Mother and Saint Joseph. Enough said. This from a priest on the stage at a Catholic archdiocesan event and never a word of retraction, apology, or anything. 
The Catholic faith cannot be advanced because there are too many weak men who are bishops who don't have the you-know-what um, courage to fight for it. Heck, you have to ask yourself at some point, do they really even believe this anymore? But the L.A. wreck isn't the only place where the faith is publicly undermined. To find out more, watch the Dispatch episode that we've entitled Trainwreck. Just click on the link. And pray for the church. Oh, pray hard for the church. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. For nearly 2,000 years, the Catholic faith has influenced, changed, and formed the entire structure of our society here on planet Earth. And yet you're still sitting there knowing next to nothing about the Catholic Church? Why is that? Get yourself a premium account at churchmilitant.tv for only $10 a month and get with the times. Sign up today.